We set up a zero waste shop in our local town, Flandilo in South Wales, uh, 18 months ago. And it was purely as a physical shop that we set it up. Um, but part of what we were looking to do was to take on some local producers um, on various things. And one of those that we worked with is a uh, small holding uh, grows to organic standards and they would let us, they would bring in uh, fruit and fruit mainly, uh, veg mainly during the week and that sort of thing. So it was, we were ticking along nicely, growing nicely. We supplemented locally grown veg with some from a local wholesaler, um, organic stuff here in Wales, um, mainly because you have to get in your lemons and your ginger and that sort of thing. Um, when lockdown hit, uh, we had a manic couple of weeks just before lockdown when everybody was stocking up on rice and pasta and that sort of thing. As we went into lockdown, we thought, well, what are we going to do now? Candice and I had both worked on a local food hub previously that used OFN. So we just went, let's use OFN. We know it. We can load things up quickly. Um, so we moved everything online. Um, we had a lot of shielding customers who were very grateful for that because nobody could get supermarket slots or anything like that. If you did get a supermarket slot, you never had any idea what you were going to get. Whereas with OFN, the stock that we put online is what stock we had in the shop. Once somebody had ordered that, the stock levels went down and if we ran out, then that that was shown online so so that worked fairly well um we had rather than being open five six days a week we were just um open for pickups on a friday and a saturday and did some local deliveries uh if people traveled from further afield they were, were often willing to meet us part way uh, whilst socially distancing that was candace's well-managed role there. Um, following the sort of first lockdown, we've been slowly opening and extending our physical shop hours. We don't let people now serve themselves as is the aim of zero waste shop. So unfortunately, a lot more stuff is going into paper bags, but we are willing to handle and fill people's containers in the shop if they bring them in. Um, we still have a fair number, probably 50% plus of our takings will be online orders and people pick them up. So we uh, prepare the orders and then people collect on a Friday. Um, we have found in, that we're growing our fruit and veg side more. We've got a lot more of that now coming through the shop because again, I think people are finding if they reserve it with us, we're going to supply them with what they've ordered. Some of the jars and containers from the shop are a bit more of a challenge. I only put half of the stock levels online because we also have people walking up and buying things. Um, so we haven't had too many disasters yet, but uh, it is occasionally worrying that we will have the stock for someone who's ordered something in plenty of time. So stock management is, is one of our, our challenges. Um, one of the other challenges is in maintaining our pricing um, because um, as prices change, um, I work out what we're going to be charging through a, a spreadsheet, but then you have to update OFN and we have to update our till and then possibly also update signs and things like that in the shop. So that can be a challenge. Um, I'm bouncing around a bit. I do apologize. Initial stock upload. We did it ourselves. Um, I do know that uh, OFN do offer that as a service and um, if my spreadsheet had been better organized, I probably would have taken them up on it, but I knew I'd have to spend a lot of time in tidying up my spreadsheet. So we, we um, uploaded things manually. Um, 
And I think that's it. I'm running out of things to say at the moment. You say we're, we're physical and online. We run a permanently open order cycle. Uh, we just ask that people order the day before so that we've got a chance to pack things. One or two of them always miss that. Um, if we're lucky, we spot their order and we get about an hour to pack it before they arrive to collect. Um, we do have a couple of other online of other suppliers. One of them is someone who's been making some organic, slow, um, proved donuts and bread and that sort of thing. Um, and the challenge there was that that those items she needed the order by Thursday morning for Friday delivery. So we would have to manually go in, take all the stock off, center the order, and then on a Saturday we'd put all the stock back on again for the following week. So that's a bit manual. And we tend to do the same with the fruit and veg in the shop as well, that um, we would take stock off on a sort of a Friday so that we can sell to walk ups quite comfortably and know that we will have um, anything that people have ordered um, available to, for uh, packing. And um, yeah, I think I'll find out a thing to say. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's really interesting to hear your perspective with kind of juggling the, the shop and the online presence as well.